Alrighty, we have a 1017 004 velvet drives one to one transmission. First thing you want to do is you want to mark the pump. So you put it back together the way it came off. The pump can be either left or right. So that's why you want to make sure you do that. Alright, so then we take the pump off. Pump housing comes off. It's a little slippery. There we go. And we take the gear off. Sometimes they're a little sticky. There we go. And what we're seeing here is some strawberry milkshake color. It means we've got that they had water in the transmission at one time or another. Now we're going to remove the keyway. Now we'll take three fines, and that's going to remove the full reverse adapter plate. Again, there's your indication of water again. This is the reverse piston. You tip that upside down, it drains all the fluid out of the piston chamber. Here's the input shaft clutch cylinder, reverse clutches. Return springs, reverse return springs. What you're looking for here is, as you can see, is some, some metal has gone through the transmission or on the clutch plate. We're looking at the teeth, and there's significant wear in the teeth. It should be perfectly square, but you can see right there where our wonderful camera woman, Karen, is zooming in on. The teeth are starting to chatter. Next thing we want to see if it's overheated. This is the plastic or phenolic washer. And if it was overheated, it would snap in two, maybe brittle. All right, so now we're gonna come over here, make some space, and we're gonna take the clutch pack apart. And handy dandy dandy screwdriver, here we go. outer snap ring and then we'll do the inner snap ring next there we go loose. they used to be great snap rings you could reuse but you really can't in most cases nowadays now comes the banging and clanging part over here Karen we're going to be putting the clutch back right on it and you put aluminum there so it doesn't mire up your concrete one tap that takes the clutch cylinder off and now we have the clutch cylinder return spring and the clutch drum alrighty we'll bring it up here and we'll take a look at these things here see what we have next Looking at the input shaft, we're looking at the, this is the clutch hub. We're making sure there's no discoloration. We're also looking on the input shaft here with the bushings right going into the planetary. All the gears look well. We're looking at the spline of the input shaft. It should be nice and crisp and sharp like this right here. Where your, imp, where your seal rides, you can see there isn't any wear there. So that's good. Next, we're going to look at the bevel return spring, and this is what usually happens to them. This little seat, this little ring here, the steel ring is what rides on, and that actually pushes up and down on the piston. 
Sometimes they'll get blue and black and they'll actually cut real big grooves that just won't be shining like this. I, there's your clutch. You, put, you apply air pressure to these holes, holding the other two, and you blow the piston right off. Now what we're going to do is pull the coupling and the planetary off. Screwdriver here. Oh, wrong one. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. Now we can hold on to it a little bit. There we go. It's best to buy a new nut, though I have in the field before used Loctite because of the nylon rock locking ring here. It's really not meant to be reused. Now comes the the output flange, what we're looking on the output flange is two areas. We're looking at the seal surface here, making sure that there aren't any big grooves and all that. We're also looking at the bottom side here to see if the coupling nut ever loosened up. And what you'll find is this little edge, this chamfer edge here, will actually wear down. All right, so then after we've got that done, When in doubt, get a bigger hammer. Works every time. Now here's our planetary. You can see that we've had a little bit of water, huh? While we're looking in the planetary, you can actually see the gears on this are starting to wear and rust away. This is only used in reverse, so it doesn't see very much use, but you still want to have nice clean gears, not like these right here. What you're looking for is side-to-side -side movement. I don't see any in these, so the, the, the actual planetary is tight. You're looking to see that the bushings are there and they haven't spun. Looks good. And then we're looking for the ceiling ring surface here to make sure that's in decent shape. Alrighty, in the case itself, can I can get up in there. You're looking, put your finger in there and see if there's any grooves. This actually has some grooves, so there must be a problem with the alignment at one point or another. Alrighty, again, this is Chris from Hale Marine. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 804-333-3677 or email us at sales at hailmarine.com and you'll get Karen. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a comment on either one of any of those three social media sites, and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Again, this is Chris from Hail Marine. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> I think somebody wants somebody. You want me or you? We shall see. There you go. Shoot. <laughs> yes, ma'am. From what? Or auto. Did you quit mine?